hello there, Sagittarius. It looks like you know someone, something is headed straight for you. You could feel the momentum building. You just don't see their arrival yet. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Sagittarius tarot reading. It's a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. If you're interested in the extended or in personal readings, there's links to both in the description box below. Let's dig into this. Hmm. Meant for you. The first card in this deck, too. Number one, something new. Secret of Shinobi, number 11, number of mastery. One and 11. This is about not being able to shout something from the rooftops just yet. Okay. You could be starting something new and see if it lasts to a certain point before sharing it with others. There's something about this connection where it's really going to show up as um, an indication or a marker for you that you finally have that relationship. That great, healthy love. You finally have that thing. Okay. This one? All right. So I understand why you want to keep it close to your chest until you make sure that it has a foundation and you're sure of what it is. Right? Got it. Okay. Um, there seems to be a um, particular difference between the two of you. I mean, there would be one because you're two separate people, but one of you still manages to look at the world like wide-eyed with wonder. And it's not that the other one doesn't. It's just the other one has achieved wisdom in a different way where they see things differently. But one of you looks at the world with still with wonder. Interesting. Okay. Show me what's going on with Sagittarius, please. You've been waiting on this. Oh, okay. You, this is something that you have hoped would come in. You've kind of held your heart back for the right person to come in. Good job. Okay. Um, the funny thing is, is that like, even when you know that the wait is over, this person is going to come from a place or direction that you didn't suspect. Okay. We have. Cancer, Sag, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius on the bottom. Yep, see, there you are looking for them. Three of Wands. <laughs> Seven of Swords. They're moving as fast as they can. <laughs> Knight of Swords. Knight of Wands. Knight of Cups. Seven of Wands. Oh. I mean, this is you. This is them. This is the situation. This is a soulmate. Okay, we're going to see if it's someone that you've built rapport with before. Okay. Um, because this is showing you looking on low key, keeping an eye on the horizon, and this person is moving as fast as they can. Okay. They've also learned not to prioritize their fire in relationships, like not being intimate too early kind of thing. There's something there where, um, a lesson in chemistry, I know that's the title of a book, a le uh, I think it's lessons in chemistry, a lesson in chemistry Okay, they, that's something that they've learned and that's something that they have boundaries around straight out of the gate. Okay, they're moving through. It's like you've already finished the last cycle that needs to happen before 
rewarded with great relationship, they're moving as fast as they can through their last one. And you're just kind of standing there waiting for them to arrive on the shore like you did previously. Okay. Because you're ready. Flowers in hand and everything. You're ready. You really are. Kind of adorable. Show me the three of wands, the details of the situation between you, please. Six of swords, six of pentacles, five of swords, star, card of Aquarius, both those? Okay. Ace of swords, four of pentacles. You could feel this coming. Just hold out a little bit longer, a little bit longer. I know this is coming. Okay. Hey. If I just hold out a little bit longer. I'm glad someone's listening to their intuitive thoughts. Because it's almost like if you even you try to kind of, got it, okay. If you are someone who is actively dating, this can feel like the sad who is, okay, I'm giving some of my time to this app dating stuff. Just an example. Because I know someone, something is headed in my direction. And I have to put myself in the world in a certain kind of way to run into this person, which there's there's truth to that. Right? There's there's truth to that. You have to put yourself out into the world in order to be found. Um, or in order to search. And it seems that you're kind of giving lip service to these other avenues, hoping for a greater something because you're holding your heart back. Because you know you can't one give it to anybody or two just blatantly give it to the wrong person. And but it's kind of feeling like hot potato. <laughs> You're holding your heart and it's like hot, hot, hot. And you know you're supposed to pass it, but they're they're not showing up yet, even though they're arriving as fast as they can. So you might have to wear oven mitts for a little bit. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. But it's like you're ready, ready. Okay. Show me the seven of swords. Whoop, okay. Okay, if if it's you approaching, oh, is that part of it that you're keeping to yourself? You're approaching union. You are approaching union. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yep. Four of wands, ten of cups, six of wands. You you are manifesting you. You are evolving you. So you you are man you are evolving into union. That tends to attract everyone and everything, which is probably why you're giving so much lip service here. <laughs> Show me the six of cups, please, for Sag. Queen of wands. King of cups. Scorpio energy. Two of wands. Out of pentacles. Really holding out for that compatible soulmate. Emotionally mature, ready for partnerships, similar goals. Scorpio energy with the King of Cups. Okay. Show me the Knight of Cups, please. High Priestess, card of Pisces. Knight of Pentacles, five of Pentacles, ten of Wands. Hmm. It's been a long road. For someone, someone here was affected by loneliness, which is understandable, especially if you've been waiting somewhere close to around five years, right? Um, you know it's on its way. You know it's slow for whatever reason. But you've been at this for a while, so it's like, okay, fine. Even if it's a while, fine. Still choosing to be resilient in spite of it all, which is great. Let's get into this person. Show me the Knight of Swords, please, for this person who's going as fast as they can. Yeah, you really don't see them. Moon card of Pisces, Ten of Wands. So you both had a Ten of Wands to close out. Oh, they're single again. Single and ready to mingle. Nine of Pentacles, 
Knight of Cups. Can you show me what the Ten of Wands was? Well, three of those? Okay. Ick. Oof. Well, that sucked. <laughs> Two of Swords, Ten of Swords, Tower. They had to... They had to discreetly make their path out of this. Double Scorpio Energy, King of Cups Tower. They had to discreetly, secretly, make navigate their path out. Yikes. But once they're out, they run like someone left the back gate open. Okay. They don't hesitate. None of that. No. They could even leave in the middle of the night. Okay. Show me the Knight of Wands for this person, please. Sun. Four of Swords. I feel like someone's almost, um, someone, their inner child is very happy now that they're liberated. Leave energy here with the sun. It almost feels like if you were, um, if this person was isolated for a while or the relationship that they were in kept them isolated, there's something about getting fresh air and sunshine is a healing thing. So maybe they were low on vitamin D, especially if they're always working from home and not getting out of the house kind of thing. There's, there's something there where it's like, Saving themselves brings forward this like rush of happiness. Just exiting makes them happy. Not gaining everything they've always wanted, but just exiting makes them happy. Okay. Show me the seven of wands, please. Four of wands, ace of swords. Emperor. Oh. Okay. Yikes. Okay. Um, Emperor card of Aries, Devil card of Capricorn, Seven of Swords. Show me more about this. Emperor, Seven of Swords, Devil. Because yikes. This was a connection fated to close. Because it catalyzed them into their divinity, into their divine feminine. This had to end to put them on the path to you and also the next path, next step on their path in their own evolution. Taurus, Libra, Scorpio, Aquarius, energy for those keeping track. There was some sort of test before reaching union. Okay. Staying in this situation made it where they would not reach union because of the level of toxicity and deception involved with this emperor. Whoever this was, if it was dad, if it was boss, it was husband, whatever it was. They saw the truth of this person and how it held them back at a, at a soul level, at a soul level. Okay. They knew this was a lesson, a faded lesson for them to learn in order to catalyze their own growth and cut ties with the path. Wow. But they see they're running right here into you. Is there any particular way y'all run into each other? One of you sees the other in a group, in a competition sort of setting. And it doesn't have to be a sport or anything. I mean, it could be playing poker, <laughs> playing cards, um, something like that. Something where there's a group and there's a level of competitiveness, something near and dear to one's heart, something you love to play. That could be anything. That could be anything. But it's some one sees the other engaged in some form of competition. Okay. Okay. And they know. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Whoever sees the other, they know. Not bad. Okay. I'm going to head over to the extended. And we'll get into this new empress. We did have a reading this week that I believe was a new emperor. I'm trying to remember who that was for. Um, it might have been Libra. Okay. 
Um, I'm going to see what's going on with this new empress in her current energy near future and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I will see you guys over there. Bye. Ooh.